Okay, folks. This is Will Sonic, and we are doing something a little bit different than usual. So, usually I do my two minute car designs, try to rush through them. This is sort of a novel thing that I do that's fun. But this time around, something has popped up that really bothers me and I feel compelled to take a deeper dive and really think hard about <laughs> how in the world this can be improved. I'm talking about the new aerial supercar, or no, hypercar, sorry, hypercar, with an I. Um, and it really bothers me because I really like the company Aerial. I love the Aerial Adam. I think that's a phenomenal car. And um, I think the people at Aerial are a very talented bunch. And how in the world this monstrosity could happen, I have no idea. I should rephrase that. I kind of know. Because I started diving deeper into what, what the guts of this thing is. Because my idea was I would try to find like a cutaway drawing or, or more, a drawing that's more revealing of uh, the car's guts and internals and stuff. To understand why it's shaped the way it is. And if you wanted to reskin it, how could you reskin it? Like what what you know, what do you have to skin what you have what do you have to put skin over top of? You know, so basically and I'm drawing very lightly right now because uh, eventually it's, it's gonna be, you know, a car with, you know, with a body and all. Um you've got some massive structures. I mean, this structure here along the side is tremendous. Uh, some really bulky structures to this thing to handle, I guess, the thousand or so horsepower it has. Um, you've got one hell of like uh, this steel brace that comes from the firewall all the way to the front and back, and a whole bunch of electric garbly goop in the middle of it. Um, and then three, and this is what's probably really determining the arrow. You have three massive heat exchangers up front. Um, let's see here. There's a shock tower up here, but that's not too intrusive. You won't really have to design around that. Hmm. Yeah. See, this is why I I like drawing like this. I'm not rushed, and I can I can you know show you more about what what my thought process is when it comes to like studying cars and how they're designed and stuff. One thing I do realize, and I'll apologize for right now, is I, my f phone is very close to my face, and you can probably hear every breath I take, which is probably a little awkward, and I apologize for that. But the way my ring light is and my camera and all this is about the best I can do. Where to begin to reskin this thing or to put skin over it? Because I, I just, what they did, I just, I don't agree with. I just don't, and I love the company. I love Ariel. I think the Ariel Adam is phenomenal. I just don't agree with what they did. This strange little Batmobile thing. I, I just, like, <laughs> okay, all right, let's get to work, okay. So what do we need? We need to accommodate these three heat exchangers up front, but we need downforce. Go ahead and just put a splitter up front. So we're gonna divide and defenders up front here with a distinct nose up front. Uh, the, the long nose is a very aerial thing, definitely something worth preserving. So we need fenders with big intakes up front and we can make them separate from the main body to give that car that skeletal look that aerial is known for. Let's see here, let's go back. So we've got a long nose, and I better extend that back. I need to extend the nose out pretty far forward. So it's, it's the so by the time you get to this point, it's wide enough to accommodate this big heat exchanger up front. So that's gonna come out there. Um, yeah. 
So I'll pack it into there. It's gonna get pretty busy looking, I apologize for that, but I'm trying to actually like work around what the vehicle actually is. So let's see here. And the fender's gonna come out here to free up all that airflow. And we're basically just trying to draw over the existing body structure. So let's see here, what's something we can do? So let's try to make the windshield come out really far. Because one thing I noticed is that the greenhouse looks very stubby and cramped and it gives the vehicle this, these really, this really strange, um, this really strange appearance of like this little space pod attached to this rocket. And it's very, very front engine looking, but not in like a classical way, but more of a cartoony way. Um, God, if they can like go like 45 inside on those like bars that they put up. So yeah, we're trying to come out as far with the, with the windshield as we can. And let's try to take shape on that. And let's see here. What's something, I feel like I can like come down like that and sort of like come up kind of like a stratus kind of thing. And we'll make it glass, let's see here. We'll make it glass going back. I'm not doing that fin thing that they did. You look at that and you're just like, no, 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 Batman. <laughs> that's, that's just, no, no, no. What can we do here? Bring these fenders out. Ducktail, kind of like this, the newer Supra. I think we got something that's taking shape here, folks. Okay, we can make the mirrors come out from there. So that's pretty practical. Let's see. I'm trying to think what else. Bear in mind, I really am trying to work with what Ariel has provided as far as the structure goes. I'm really trying to keep that in mind. Because anybody can draw, you know, a prettier car than 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 what that with that Benny Batmobile is, but ultimately it's designed the way it is because it has to work with the structure that they came up with. And I know Ariel did this probably a lot of R and D and time put into that. So you're not going to be able to just abandon it. Let's do some gullwing doors cause that's fun. And they got this amazing spine that they put up here so we can attach them to that and they should open and close really nicely. Okay, now it is aerial, so let's, instead of making them recessed or smooth, we can put, like, some light pods coming out of the fender. We'll have a little bit of rawness to it, because that, that's the thing, though. A aerial should look raw, skeletal. Um, strong, but light as a feather. And that's the vibe you should get when you look at an aerial. Also, just as a comment, if um, you follow what I draw on Twitter, you, you know me for drawing with markers in a hurry. And I got to say, I much prefer taking my time with a pencil. This is so much better. Okay. I got to start cleaning up our mess here. I've got lines everywhere. So it probably looks like garbly goop to you, but I, I know like where I want to start um, cleaning things up at. Let's see here, so smoothing out to there. We'll have to, oh, you know what? Opportunity to both cover the suspension and create a little downforce with these guys here. Um, these panels here could be designed as such to create downforce. Let's see here. But yeah, this, bringing the windshield out to here, for one, will improve aerodynamics, but two, will make the greenhouse not look as stubby, um, including this, this uh, Supra, this Supra deck here. Okay. A little side skirt action there. Uh, where to go from here? 
That's the thing is um, when I do my two minute car designs, I'm obligated to be in a hurry and not waste your time. With this, it's tempting to just maul over details and just keep looking at them and stuff, which is dangerous because then things get boring. Guess it would help if I had some music in the background or something too, but I have some music in mind, but I haven't asked for you know permission to use it yet, so I don't want to do that. Okay, I got an idea. I've got a car taking shape. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going to put a brake duct down here. It can't be in too deep because, as you saw, that structure is pretty bulky. You're not going to do much with that, so... Okay, we got a structure, we got something that works. Now it's a matter of filling everything in to where it looks clean. It actually looks like a drawing instead of this incredibly rough thing. How much can I clean up with my eraser? I know, I'm working with a mechanical pencil. I should probably get some actual arts, art tools or something. Have you been to an arts, art like a uh, like an art supply store or something. Stuff is expensive. It's like, what the hell? It's like, I just want to draw some stuff on my own as a hobbyist. I'm not looking to create the like, next Mona Lisa or something. Now, what's interesting is when you take things away like that and you start cleaning up things, you realize that some surfaces are very large and they definitely kind of dominate um, what's in your field of view, maybe a bit too much. So let's break up this nose with a line across the front. You know what? Let's break up these two. And also, they, they will accentuate what the shape of the fender is. Kind of like got something there going on there. Um, hey, we got something taking shape, man. This is actually kind of neat. I'm really starting to dig this. Let's see here. Man, this is. Man, I, I'm really starting to like. Okay, you know what? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, let's use a darker pencil. An actual art pencil of some kind. What in the world was that beat? Oh, that was my dishwasher. The joys of recording from your dining room. Cause I'm not, I'm not like some super cool YouTuber with a super cool YouTube room or some crap like that. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy. How much memory my phone has. <laughs> this is probably gonna be like, I don't know, like a 500 megabyte like video or something. Let's see here. Should probably be sharper or something. Yeah. Mm. You know, another thing that's tough about drawing while filming is that you can't move the pad. And when I'm not filming, I move the pad all the time for myself to get a better angle on a, a line I want to draw or something. there about that line well, as well as as much as I'd love to spend even more time on this I got to settle on the fact that you know I have to go to bed at some point and face the real world the next day so like I said I don't design for a living I'm a hobbyist shut up dishwasher Okay, that's a bit messy there. I'll have to refine that at some point. That rear wheel is looking a little small now. 
probably went a little overboard with the size of the fenders. That's the other thing too, if you really study the thing, man, it is a lot of wheel and not a lot of car. just kind of just darkening stuff in and just trying to make this drawing look more complete than just a, a messy sketch at the camera shaking my apologies don't have the greatest setup in the world I do need to draw in pencil more often too I'm very tempted to go back over this end marker but I'm also afraid that that'll screw it up somehow so, in retrospect, these ducks are a little square. I could have done something more innovative or neat looking with that, but whatevs. Okay. Sculpted fenders to get the air flowing through it. Just got to cut through. Window reflection. Let's see. Hmm. Let's do some detail wheels real quick, and I think I'll call it. So I don't even know like how big this video is at this point. But this is more like how I'd like to draw, you know, for those who watch my little two minute videos, like I'm just rushing, just trying to put something down before I go to bed. And this is how I really like to like study something and actually approach the design of something. You're seeing more of the real, the real me with this. Like what is the real me, man? I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell it's late? Okay, man, that's pretty cool. I might just leave it at that. Um, and just say that this is, if I worked for Ariel and they gave me that frame with those, uh, with all the components placed where they are, uh, this is what I would come up with. Um, I'm sure whoever designed the current Ariel hypercar is, is a very talented person and I'm sure they would look at this and say this is very derivative and looks like something from 2005, but I like it. So this is what I would do. All right, well, little, this is a little different, a lot more longer and drawn out, but I hope you enjoyed, um, I'm just going to touch that up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed seeing, you know, what more so what my real approach to designing something would be instead of just a quick doodle with a marker. All right, let's center it and let's call it a night.